Hi, it's Mary Jean here from Home for the Harvest, and I'm with Ken Saville from GrowerCoach.com. And we're just chatting today about flowering at Dogwood. It's April here, and so everybody's just looking forward to some flowering trees. So let's chat about the different kinds of flowering dogwoods that we'll be looking forward to soon. Alrighty, we're talking about dogwoods, flowering dogwoods. These are small trees that are just one of the best that, that you can get in the gardens. Pretty much anywhere from zone four, zone five, six, seven, eight, up to zone eight, that's sort of the range. But ultimately, we're in zone five and six where we are here, and they do very well in this climate. So there's two basic types of flowering dogwoods. You'll get the Cornus uh, Cusas, which are like the Asian varieties. And then you get the Cornus Floridas, which are North American varieties. But uh, basically the two varieties bloom at different times. And Cornus Florida, which is the Florida dogwood and Florida meaning flowering. These are the most common ones. They'll actually flower first and then leaf out second. So that means they're very early blooming. So the Cornus Cusa variety, which is a Korean dogwoods, they're different. They'll leaf out first and flower second. So if you had both the trees growing in your yard, you would get extended bloom because you'd get the Florida dogwood coming on and blooming, going through its bloom and everything. And then the, the Cornus Cusa coming on and putting on its foliage and then starting to produce the flowers into later, like almost into June. So how nice is that to have Cornus Florida's blooming from the end of April through into May and then have the Cornus Cusas blooming end of May and through June. People that I know that come into their summer cottages sometimes and they don't arrive until June. So why would you have Cornus Florida in that landscape? They're never gonna see it flower. But if you had Cornus Cusa, the Chinese dogwood or Korean dogwoods, those ones are gonna give you the flower later in the season. So I like to have both. You know, I'm that way. I want. I, I, I just want it. The thing I want, and I want it now. But uh, so these are Cornus Cusas here. There's quite a selection here. This is at Bylands Nurseries in Kelowna, and they just have such a fabulous selection of all these trees. Again, these are small trees. They're not particularly drought tolerant, but they're very durable, and they're resistant to many types of diseases that affect other trees. So I really like Cornus. All of the flowering dogwood varieties. They'll grow in shady spots too. So if you had a property with big trees and you want some smaller trees underneath, these are the ones to plant. All of the Cornus family, all the flowering dogwoods are good in early shaded areas. Now I want to show you a couple other really cool varieties. As we go along here, there's so many different types to choose from. This is a Milky Way one. And this one is called Rut Pink. Don't really know what that one is. Oh, here's the picture. This is Starfire. You can see how beautiful that is. This is a variegated form down here called Samaritan. Samaritan. So if you've got a variegated leaf, like a regular variegated dogwood, remember variegated dogwood shrubs are a shrub and they don't really bloom. Not like these trees, the flowering dogwood trees have big flowers. But you can see it's just a pretty tree. It's a variegated form. This is a stand. This is the one you see all over rocks. Is the standard gorgeous but fully grown 40 year old trees only like 20 feet high 20 maybe 25. well this one was a cross between cornish florida and cornish italian and eddie i actually met ed who's passed away now and I, the original tree is down in burnaby great off uh, southwest marine drive and the original tree is about this big now. And he found it in, a, he had nursery and he had a lot of dogwoods, but he had this one and he knew what it was. And he saw this little seedling grow one day. So he just let it grow, let it grow. And it grew into this beautiful tree with huge white flowers about four inches in diameter. Eddie's White Wonder, it was called. And now it's all over the world being sold everywhere. For the grand finale, the Venus dogwood, which is a cross between Cornus metalia in our area here in southern British Columbia, there's some native trees, the native dogwood, the dogwood flower, the Cornus Italii, is the flower of British Columbia. And it grows down in the coastal regions in BC. So what they've done is they've crossbred the Cornus Cusa, the Korean dogwood, with the local variety. And they've come out with this variety called Venus, 
There's a few other varieties as well they come up with. But Venus is known as the largest flower of any dogwood. These can be anywhere from five to six inches in diameter, these beautiful white dogwood flowers. So pretty hard to beat that one. This is my favorite. And yeah, don't buy them all because I'm going to be buying a couple for my house. Okay, so I'm clearly going to get one of these Venus dogwoods. Where in my yard would it thrive? Now, I know your property, you've got some big trees and they're on the south side of the property, I believe. Yes. So that's a perfect spot because those big trees are gonna cast some shade over your whole yard. And if you're planting other trees, they really wanna be in a sunny spot. You may not wanna pick certain trees for that spot because it's too shady. But these are an excellent choice because all the flowering dogwood groups all don't, they don't mind to grow in shade because they grow in these dense forests in nature where they're all grown together. So they're, they don't have to have full sun.